and it's really hard to control the temperature inside this tunnel kill and therefore the successful rate is not as high many of the pieces the they got it broken during the firing process and that's another reason why porcelain can be so expensive Good morning, Internet. Today I am in another porcelain city of China, Dehua. Last time I made an episode about Jingdezhen. So Jingdezhen and Dehua both are called porcelain city, yet they are very different. To put it simply, Jingdezhen is very famous for its imperial gears. It produced porcelain and ceramic for the emperors, and it's famous for its white and blue porcelain as well as porcelain painting. But very differently, Dehua is known for its folk kills, which means it has been producing ceramic and porcelain for everyday households for ordinary people. And also it's known in the West for its sculpture ceramic. In France, they call it Blanc du Chien, which means China white, because ceramic produced in Dehua has a very beautiful white ivory color. Anyway, I will show you the Hua in the coming episodes, but in this first episode, I want to show you how porcelain is made traditionally by using the firewood kills. There used to be a lot of historical firewood kills in the Hua, but now very few are still in use. So today I'm going to take you to visit a kill that is over 1000 years old. Taipingongyao, and I was quite lucky because now it is in the firing process. And this kiln is right after, right behind that uh, residential building, and it's not so, um, it's not easy to know this. This is the whole kiosk. So this is a starting point you see. And you also see a, a burner that's for the joss sticks because there is an opening ceremony before they start the burning, the firing process. Look, that's the firewood. And on both sides we see workers, they are putting firewood into it. Uh, Wow. So even at night, they were still working. Wow. They start firing process from down below and then they go gradually uphill. And now he's zealing one of the one of the holes. So apparently there is a lot of techniques, there is a lot of experience inside. I don't know what's happening, but you know, look at here. Oh. The further I go now, since uh, it's not zealed, I can feel the heat coming out. And let's come to the end of this kiosk. See the smoke. Wow. Wow, and you see those clays, it's wet because it's all newly sealed. Before burning, you have to put it in the oven. 
然后要全部要摆得满满满满当当整整齐齐的，嗯，然后有专门的人去专门装窑的师傅，嗯，那装窑的师傅呢，他装完了之后，摆好了，他在慢慢装的，有有些时候可能一窑装满可能装几天，嗯，或者是一个月两个月都有可能，三个月有可能，因为农窑太长了，那你烧你烧一次要花，你看这么多的木材。要把这些木材全都给烧掉，那正常是这样的，但是有的是要多备的，但是这要烧、嗯，你想它烧六十几个小时，嗯，那六十几个小时你要一直不能火不能断，那你想你的柴火呢？嗯，想想这个道理。嗯 ，They are going to burn all those wood, and it's, it's very costly to to um start the fire process once, and there is a, a old kiosk right next to that one, this one. 嗯。啊，它是这样一个台阶一个台阶上去的，然后呢，嗯、木头啊，有从这些火洞里面钻钻出来、嗯，所以你看，这就是窑整个这个龙窑的内部，哎，就是这样上去到上面、嗯，然后呢，有几个这个门洞可以进来，嗯，啊，拿东西放东西，就是放这些要烧的东西，嗯，啊，那你想哦，其实像这些，嗯，都是用砖，就是拼凑拼凑起来，它竟然能这个样子，嗯，而且它那么多年，它还是。Mm. This is quite incredible, especially when you see this, the the surface of the inner side of this kiosk. It's turning ceramic-like. It's because of、uh, years of years of firing. This kiosk is so deep, so long. Usually, we burn some metal objects, right? Yeah. This kiosk is so deep. You can see the metal objects. It's all put in here. Then, then. 一落落落上去，哇、wow ！我给你举上去啊，我给我讲哈、啊嗯嗯，就是像这个情况，我看一下啊，它其实霞波很多时候呢，它就拿来作为干嘛呢？挡土，挡土墙，看到没有？那上面不是很多那种碎掉的这种瓷片呢？其实。Abba and I, we took a long ride to the suburban area of Dehuan, and here in those rural villages, there are a lot of、uh, chai yao, and they are owned by young people. And、uh, they form、uh, the pieces, the art pieces by hand, and then also they fire their work. Yao yao yu chai yao. This is the、uh, firewood kiosks, and they are using the pine wood. And they told me that this is because、uh, after burning the the pine wood, pine wood oil, and this gives the ceramic a special texture, as if it is glazed. 小沈，啊，这就是你们的工作室了。哇 ，a very nice courtyard in a quiet in a quiet place. So cool. I like it. The reason why many artisans、uh, chose to chose to work in in villages, I guess it's because firstly the rent is pretty cheap and also it's quiet and there are plenty of wood. I'm going to have a tour by myself and discover their works. So it seems that they have one specific style. This one it looks very. And rustic, and also very unpredictable. There is n there isn't two pieces that、uh, are look the same. Everyone is unique. Wow, I like it. So it's mainly the teapot and the cups. 那就是如果平均的话，你一年算下来，一个月的话，能做多少件呢？大概我我现在我这边是四五个人做，嗯，就一起做的话，一个月能烧一窑，嗯，一窑的话大概器物能出到四百件到六百件之间，挺慢的其实，嗯
，毕毕竟成手的这种纯手工的东西，嗯，本来就慢，嗯，像这这几天过年春节过后，嗯，天天下雨，然后潮，南风天很潮湿，嗯，皮没办法干，哦，我到现在，嗯，这么十十几天了，还没做几个皮呢，嗯。为什么这些器皿的上面都会有，就是这么多不一样的机理啊？这个就是自然落灰。为什么我们叫柴窑？嗯，柴烧它有两个比较大的一个明显的特征，一个叫火彩。嗯，火彩就是泥料经过火的长时间煅烧，它被那个一些呃氧化物煅烧出来的发色。火彩，然后落灰，落灰指的是，就是我们木材烧成灰以后，它经过那个，呃，就是有抽力嘛，哈，有烟囱有抽力，经过那个窑的一个内循环，它会把灰给它飞到这个器皿身上去，就是会附附着在上面。嗯，所以这个杯子的话，上面这个红色就算是火彩，对对,对。然后上面还有一些其他的那种，像这种有就很不确定的这种，那些是矿物质，就是落灰。哦，怪不得每每一把都不一样。哎，我感觉用这个杯子喝，茶都变香了。<笑>王初桃的话，就是它能养、嗯、你喝茶的话，长时间喝它就会养出一些，嗯，呃，比较漂亮的彩色来。哎，这是不是白茶呀？是。是吧？<咳>对。So you see, everything in this workshop—it's—it's it's simple and it's very organic. It's not like—it's、uh, not so sophisticated. This is pulled out. 第一步就是拉坯的地方嗯，嗯，也不算第一步，但是就是拉坯。拉坯之前，我们是现在这些东西剪掉了，呃，揉泥巴呀，先做就处理一些泥料。嗯 ，In the beginning, I thought all the the galling clay are exported, but then I realized that, uh, Dehua is also very rich in galling resources. Uh, although now it's kind of protected, but You can always get the clays from this region. It's also from the local clay. It's just 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 from the local clay. 比如说美国那边好像他们吃牛肉吃的多，他骨头他们没用，嗯，就是进口过来。德化就一个地方他，他他吃土肯定是就地取材才会造成他这个产业兴旺嘛。And now we're moving to the to the firewood kiln and to see how how those pieces are fired. 都是松木。对，像这种就是工厂的。废料，嗯，可以用其他的木料吗？还是一定要用松木呀？啊、呃，尽量，因为我们都是都是就地取材了，就是为什么
比如说一个地区德化的柴窑，或者是景德镇的柴窑，或者是台湾也好，哪里的柴窑，他们的特色为什么怎么区分呢？就是他本地的泥料啊，他烧烧的用的木头啊。大概是这种东西是他本地的东西，所以他就会有本地的一个独特的风格。像台湾，台湾有有一些大师，他们是找那个海边的漂浮木，是烧出来效果就是会不一样。这么后面有这么多东西啊？这个是我们铺的一个隔离剂，叫稻谷壳。This is just incredible. You see the the glaze on those uh on this board. The those boards are used to separate um. Separate different pieces. So in this kiln, they don't use the sacker. Instead, they they use this those boards. But depending on the position of the board, depending on the temperature, you see the color of the glaze is different. This one is more green. This one more bluish. This one is more bluish. It's very very beautiful. 哎，那这个窑的话，你们烧窑的成功率能有多少呀？成功率这个现在会比较高一点，百分之六七十吧。百分之六七十，这还算高的呀？对，这是窑室啊。器皿就是经过那个绑这样子排在这里，整个你看底下这些全部都是，烧烧的那样子都是没用。哦，因为这边是火口，火从这边进来，它火是最旺的地方。哦，这个火口这边进来的，所以下面的这三层是很难烧的。对，嗯，都是用来博窑宝的。我们在底下放的东西不会做很高工的东西。嗯、uh, ，this kiln is roughly the size of me, and on the at the bottom you can see those are the the filled pieces. And those are the glaze, but it's all it's all natural. Yeah,香蒸。现在在县城，啊，像这种能烧的土窑，只有这一个。哦。啊，然后香镇，啊，还有两个。香镇下面，啊，对，那还在烧吗？哎，对，能够烧的。前头话有三个。那以前的时候有
So yeah, so this PC is is totally wasted. <音>这这一粒都没有烧烧的都没有建好的都是经常有的这种哇那会不会说到中间的位置它会好一点也没有就是看它已经是自然走的一个一个状态嘛哦就火是在里面会走它自己在走嗯然后全靠运气嗯 张宝莲行叫出去的朵莲哟有些陶陶艺他是不只是体现在他的那个创作能力还要烧工很多他懂得创作不懂烧都要代烧像我们的话现在做这些所有的材烧一滴啊什么材烧的很多也是也是建了几
，很难生这个温度啊，哦，生不上去。嗯。The artisans they are so excited. They said the reason why you see the head is uh, is colored. It's because the face is unglazed, whereas the rest of the statue is glazed. 这件真的可以，可以可以挑一下。不，你看烧出这种依糊的这种质感的烧出来，它是没有上釉的，它这是天然形成落灰。嗯。So since the flame came from one direction, so one one this side is burned, then it has a shiny surface, and there is a back side that is not burned. Sometimes you have to repeat the same process. Two times, three times, sometimes four times, and that's why it's so expensive because it takes a lot of time, uh, a lot of work. That's all for today. I hope you enjoy watching this video and that's China's traditional firewood kiosk. And for the next episode, we're going to further explore the porcelain industry in Dehua because Dehua is also known as having China's largest or perhaps the world's largest ceramic manufacturing industry. For the next episode, we're going to visit some artisans as well as some big factories. Thanks for watching and see you next time.